love YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Anyways, it is often thought that bodybuilding exercises or bodybuilding movements aren't exactly uh, good for uh, sports, sports in general, other than bodybuilding and maybe powerlifting. Um, it's often thought that isolating the muscle is not the best thing you can do for performance in, in sports like football, baseball, um, wrestling, because you're using your whole body for a lot of things. Uh, when you swing a bat, you're using your upper body, your legs, uh, everything is in motion with the torque of your hips. Uh, when, when you're hitting, a, 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 when you're tackling in football, you're using your whole body. When you're wrestling, you're using your whole body. But it's not necessarily true. Bodybuilding training supplemented with your general strength training and power training can actually be very helpful and maybe even vital to your performance as an athlete. Let's say uh, you're doing uh, uh, clean and jerks, all right? Um, maybe there's maybe you're uh, lacking in, in your tricep strength. So when you get here, you can't push up on, on the clean. You can't because your triceps are too weak. But perhaps if you do some uh, tricep push downs at the end of the session, over time, you're gonna start uh, hypertrophying the, the triceps. Your triceps are gonna get stronger. You're gonna be able to finish the movement. You're gonna get stronger on the movement. And then what else? So let's say you're playing football. Let's say you're a running back. Now you can stiff arm somebody and you have that tricep strength to push him away. So it it is important. It is important. Um, what else? Uh, let's say you're a baseball player and uh, your forearms, you need you need good forearms for baseball, okay? So let, let's say you, you start, you do some uh, wrist curls and you get your forearms bigger. Now you're gonna have so much power on your swing, so much more power than you had before. You're gonna have better grip on the bat. You're gonna have better grip on the baseball when you throw the baseball. Uh, or a pitcher, maybe he, he, he does some, uh, some sets of 10 to 12 with hip thrust because, you know, a big ass equals Big pitcher uh, throws more miles per hour on that pitch. I'm telling you. you, that's why a lot of baseball pitchers have big asses. Okay, I'm not saying this to be funny, but it's true. It's true. Now, um, you see, bodybuilding training can be used to bring up those weak muscles because if you continually do uh, Olympic weight lifts or um, or or deadlifts and squats, and you don't improve on the muscles that are lagging behind let's say you're a squatter and you're quad dominant you need to do something to supplement uh your hamstrings you need to do some maybe some good mornings some um some some hyper extensions uh you gotta do you gotta do something to to grow the hamstring because doing the squats alone is not going to help and if you're deadlifting and you're very uh lower back dominant on deadlifts, maybe you need to do something so that you can engage your, your hamstrings and quads more so that you don't hurt yourself. So a lot of this, it can help your performance. It can help your injury prevention. Uh, strengthening the little muscles allows you to make bigger impact and, and, and lift bigger weights with the, the big movements, okay? So then the little muscles help your big muscles and all together, it's synergistic. It's synergistic. If you just go in there and just do um, deadlifts and power and, and, and uh, cleaning jerks and power cleans and and squats and bench press, you're gonna see some gains, but you're gonna see a, a big a big imbalance. You're gonna get really big in your in your big muscles and like the chest and the lats and the quads and the hamstrings. But your, your smaller muscles, like your, your biceps, your triceps, they're gonna lag behind. And it's not about aesthetics. It's, it's, it's about not getting injured. It's about having more power. The more, the, the more muscle you have, the more ability of strength you have. It's a fact. This is why powerlifters supplement with, uh, with accessory uh, lifts, with accessory movements. Because if all they did was deadlift, if all they did was bench press, if all they did was squat, 
yeah, they'd get pretty strong, but they'd hit a wall, first of all. They wouldn't be able to get beyond a certain point. And on top of that, they're putting themselves at a higher likelihood for injury. So bodybuilding movements allow you to get more powerful in your sport, allow you to get stronger on your lifts, and can help you prevent injuries in the future. Thanks for watching and have a good day.